What's up, family? It's been over a year since the demander and thief, Donald Trump, your president, descended from the Trump Towers escalator to announce his candidacy for president of the United States of America and the rest of America since that day still hasn't figured out why in the hell would anybody, even one person on God's green earth, support a person like him not only support him, but continue to support him. As indicated in a recent poll, Americans are no closer to finding that answer than they was the first time that he announced his presidency, before he became president of the United States. Trump's voters are no longer fearful of revealing their markedly false and oftentimes astonishingly hateful views. Where does this come from? Where does this type of mentality come from? If you're still skeptic that these sorts of mentalities exist, consider these four findings from a recent report. 37% of all Americans thought African Americans were the most discriminated against group in America with 8% saying Latino Americans, 2% saying Asian Americans, 14% saying Native Americans, and 21% saying white people. When it comes to strictly Trump voters, though, a staggering 45% said it was white people who faced the most discrimination in America with 17% saying Native Americans, 16% saying African Americans, and 5% saying Latino Americans. Number two, 49% of all Americans felt that Muslims were the most discriminated against group in America, with 29% saying Christians and 8% saying Jews. Compare that against 54% of Trump voters saying Christians faced the most discrimination, with 22% saying Muslims and 12% saying Jews. Number three, 39% of all Americans support monuments to the Confederacy and 34% oppose them. But 58% do agree that they should be relocated and placed in historical context. 71% of Trump voters, however, are in favor of keeping them. A mere 10% object to the monuments. But it should be said that the spread places this as one of the most unified issues among Trump supporters to date. Number four, 56% of all Americans would rather have Barack Obama be president, whereas 21% would prefer a dead man, a former president by the name of Jefferson Davis. When it comes to Trump supporters, 45% said Jefferson Davis with 35% saying that they weren't sure and a mere 20% saying Barack Obama. <laughs> These damn Trump supporters, man, they got to be aliens. They would prefer a dead man over the president they have right now. Think about what I'm saying. Wow. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Trump is the most powerful figurehead in the world. Yet, he has no class. He's uneducated. Yeah, I know he got the degree, but degrees can be bought. He has no class. Can't dress. He's ugly. He's orange. I wonder what Melania saw in him. Oh, no. my bad. That, that was rhetorical. I shouldn't have said that. He's one of the worst, yet people still follow him. Like, if 
if Trump was just another dude, let's say he didn't have all that money, he wasn't the president, and he wasn't white. Do you, do you think that he would still have that support? Where they just respect everything he said? Well, I like him because he says what he feels. He's not politically correct. You know, he's not a politician. That shows you how dumb a lot of them is. They, they still are saying that he's not a politician, even though he's the president of the United States. It's impossible to become the president, to be the president of the United States and not be a politician. It's impossible to even become president without being a politician because you have to run for office. Once you run for office, you are, in fact, at that moment, when, once you declare that you are running, put your hat in the race. You are a politician. Please stop saying that dude ain't a politician. He really was a junior politician back in the day when he was paying off all those politicians. That's why he knows how the game goes so well. And that's why he's doing a lot of the dirty, underhand things that he's doing. At some point, Trump supporters are going to have to come to the conclusion that they followed the wrong dude. They just got to admit it at some point. Got to just admit it. Worst case scenario, Donald Trump survives another 36 months. Best case scenario, he's hauled off in handcuffs at 3.41 a.m. in the middle of the night after a long round of golf and tweets and Melania constantly hitting him on the hand saying, get your filthy, orange, stinking, ugly hands off me. No more talk. What the talking about?